Hey everybody, it's the Home Dad coming at you with another video. As you can see here, not many people probably know what these are. These are riblets. It's the cut of meat on the hog that uh, where the rib attaches to the backbone, the spinal cord. This is that little tiny piece of meat that they trim off of the ribs. Uh, it's connected to tenderloin and it is very tender and they're just like ribs that's what they taste like when you cook them low and slow so today we're going to be doing uh, a little cook it's raining here so i'll be doing these in the oven we're going to add a binder to these i usually don't but we're going to add some mustard we're going to get in here and give these a good mix get a little bit of mustard everywhere you hear my son in the background, he's just playing in there. He, his mama's away for work, so it's just the boys this past five days. And we've been having fun playing and hanging out. It's a good thing to be a daddy. There he goes, man on a mission. I'm going to take this glove off here. Try not to get stuff everywhere. And then we're going to be using my favorite seasoning, if you can see this. The Weber Dry Rub Brown Sugar, Smoky Brown Sugar. This stuff is just fantastic on pork. And we're going to give these a good liberal coating. covered and happy like so some of these uh, pieces are really meaty and some are real thin they got little tiny flat bones in them so you want to be careful with that when you're eating them, but if you know about it, you don't have nothing to worry. And these things are so cheap. Uh, we buy them by the by the pound here. You can get these roughly for about fifteen dollars for ten pounds, and this here is about two and a half pounds of meat. So you can just imagine you can get a lot of. They're good for parties and everything. So, we're going to be making these for football today. But I got them all seasoned up, as you can see. They look good. So, I can get you a good close up of them. There we go. They're nice and uh, seasoned. And I'm going to let these sit in this seasoning for probably a couple hours in the fridge. And then we're going to crank the oven on and I'll bring you back whenever I get them all laid out and ready to go. Stay tuned everybody. Hey everybody we're back. I let these riblets sit in the fridge for approximately four hours and now we're going to throw them on a rack. I got the oven preheated at 275 degrees. I'm going to get them on there. Trying to get them all on there, but I don't think we're going to. I'll have to set us up another rack. Well, there's the first rack, as you can tell. And uh, we're going to put these in at 275 for about an hour and 15 minutes. And I'll bring you back once we check them then. Stay tuned, everybody. Hey, everybody. We're back. So you can see I got the ribs up here. They've been going for an hour and 15 minutes. They're looking good. And I have another pan here that has brown sugar and butter in it. 
and I'll be right back. Alright everybody, I am back again after that fiasco. My son decided it was a good idea to throw a tantrum tantrum, and we had to fix that problem. But we're going to take our ribs, and we're just going to put them right there on top of the brown sugar and butter. And man, is that going to make them real nice. The butter's probably going to burn, I mean the sugar might burn a little, but we're, like I said, we got this on low and slow. And we're going to seal this pan up real good so they kind of steam in there. And we're going to be doing this, these things are going to go for another hour, hour and 15 minutes. And then we're going to bring them back and uh, put some homemade barbecue sauce on them. But there you go, everybody. That's what we're looking like right now. We're going to put a tin foil top on these and get it nice and sealed and go back in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes and I'll bring you back. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody, we're back. I just pulled these out the oven. Let's take a peek at them. Get it pulled to the side here. I want to open this away from us because that steam's going to be hot. Oh, yeah. Those look nice. Let's test to see how they're. Oh yeah, they're breaking. All right, now we're gonna take these and uh, we're gonna go over here and put them back on our tray. Like so. Now you can't really see this part, but. These are going to be something fun to eat, guys. And if you look at my previous videos, I actually made the sauce in a video that we're going to be putting on these. It's a Carolina base, mustard base uh, sauce. And that's what we're going to be putting on these guys. Let's bring it over here so you guys can get a good look at that. They look good. Let's get our barbecue sauce out. And I'm just going to spoon this over them. Like so. We're going to put the oven on broil and give this sauce time to set up. Caramelize a little bit. It's got sugars in it. Looks good. I'm sorry if you can hear the cartoons in the background, but that's what happens when you have a little man. We got that going. Take a look at them now. Looks good, and uh, I'll bring you back after they come out the oven. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, we're finally back, and they're all done. Hope y'all can see this. They look delicious. So let's give them a taste test. Grab this little piece here. And just pulls right off. 
that's delicious. See if you can see this. It just pulls right apart. It's very good, everybody. If you see these at your store, you should pick them up, give them a try. They're riblets, and they're fantastic. Hope you all give this a try. Thanks for watching. God bless. Please subscribe.